Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the qualifier tool inside the colors page inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of this DaVinci Resolve knowledge coming your way. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is the edit page and the clip that we're going to be working with today is a very bright background green color. We're going to do this red as well just to get a couple of different qualifications. So we're going to jump on over into the colors page and we're going to get started. So now that we're in the colors page, we're going to get our qualifier tool. If you see curves, it's in this same menu right here in the middle of the screen. It's this little eyedropper. So go ahead and click on that. And now if we come up onto our clip, we have a little eyedropper to use. This is where we're gonna start our qualification. So if we have this little dropper with the ripple selected, it's gonna go ahead and pick a range of colors around the pixel that you did. So it's gonna grab more than just one pixel. If we take this with the plus sign, we're gonna add one pixels color and we're gonna take away a pixels color with the one with the minus. So we're gonna use the ripple and we're gonna select a color that's kind of in between both of these colors, like right up here. And you're gonna see if we hit shift H, this is what we have qualified so far, is this green right here. So if we go ahead and move the center of that more toward the green green, it's gonna fail, it's gonna fall off a little bit. So we see that there's a little bit more blue in this green. So we're gonna change our width to capture more of that green color and hopefully it doesn't grab anything else. That is pretty wide. We're getting a lot of blue, a lot of green and it's looking pretty clean in the areas that are looking clean. You can see up here that we have some issue with the darker zones and that's fine because we can handle those with this luminance slider. So we'll bring that down so that it collects up even the darker tones of that green color we can also go ahead and bring that up because there's not a lot of green in this image hit shift H you can see that there's just this bleed down here and then this that's green everything else is primarily black or white we can see that we still don't have that and we turn our luminance all the way down we can even take it a little bit lower but that's not gonna pick it up what we need to do for this is take our low end of the green saturation and bring that down so we can go ahead and just drag that right there and as soon as that gets to the edge there we can stop and our qualification is looking pretty good but you'll see if we go too far here we start to lose a lot of that precision and we catch more of that bleed because it's not as saturated as the green on that background so we'll go ahead and clean that back up and now that we've done that we can denoise it a little bit which is going to blur that edge just slightly make it a little bit more clean and less choppy, less pixelated. So what we're gonna do once we're at this stage, you can see that we're bleeding a little bit of the camera through, that's all right. What we're gonna do is invert now so that our shift H actually takes away what we want it to take away. Cause that is the easiest thing to qualify. It's a lot harder to qualify the subject than it is generally if they're on a solid color background to qualify the background and then just invert it. That's just the best way to do it. So now we can see we have a little bit of that green. So down here we have clean black, clean white. So your foreground is gonna be what's called white and your background is gonna be what's referred to as black. So we need to clean this foreground up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that clean black up so that we stop seeing that green around our edges of our foreground because our background is gonna be just a little bit cleaner. It's gonna make it push in on the subject. So we'll call this like 35, maybe a little bit higher. We'll go 40, Let's see how that looks. We still have a touch of green right there, but we can take a little bit of that higher end saturation and go ahead and grab that. Just like that, we have keyed out this green color in the background. And then if you wanna be able to see through that in your edit page, you're gonna to need to come up here, right click in your node web, and then click add alpha output. And now you can see that there's a blue output as well as this green one. We're gonna drag this blue box down there. And now this is being outputted as alpha. So if we go into edit, that green is now black. You can see that there's a little bit of green some places still, but that's just because these are really close together. So there's some reflection and a little bit of bleed. If you're doing this and you really need it to be clean, it's better to have your subject be further away so that none of those colors are represented on your subject. Pop back into the colors page here and we're gonna go ahead and reset this node grade. We're gonna go through this again, but this time we're gonna grab the reds. So we have red right here, we have red right here, and we have red 
under this sticker right here. So in order to qualify only this red dot, we're gonna go ahead and add a node, add a corrector node, and then we're gonna pop this onto this path by holding shift and dropping it right on there. Now we're gonna draw, now that we have this in this line, we're gonna go ahead and draw our power window around what we need qualified. So we're gonna say this right here. And if we watch this clip, it moves, right? So we need to find when that red dot is inside our power window, and then we're gonna get into our tracker. We're gonna go ahead and track this forward, and it's gonna follow that red dot now so that it doesn't lose it. And then we're gonna track it backward as well because that's what we need to do. So now that that's tracked, we're gonna jump back into our qualifier, which we have right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on this red so that we can really be precise about what we're doing with it. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that with our qualifier and that actually looks really good just right away. So we're gonna increase that width a little bit on our colors that it's picking up because we definitely want it to pick up a pretty good range of reds inside of that little window because there's nothing else in there that's red. And we're going to increase our saturation and we're gonna decrease it at the same time. Oop, see we get a little bit too much if we desaturate that low. So we'll go until we just have the button call that good with a little bit of denoising those edges will clean right up so we're going to increase our luminance so we can get that reflection and then we're going to denoise so that our edges look nice and since this is masked and it knows that this is all we're looking for we don't really need to do any cleaning of the black or the white or anything like that so now that our qualification is good to go we're going to go ahead and delete this first node so that we only have our dot before we start to change this color so now that's gone, we have our red dot, and we're gonna go ahead and change our hue down here until it's like a purpley color for this. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into edit again. And since we have this alpha output in our colors page, it just shows up right on top of this other version of this clip. So if we move this over, we'll see that that is still red, but with our tracked power window with the change in hue, if we play this, it's purple. That's how you use the qualifier in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you still have questions, please ask them in the comments down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Fast Fridays.